48 Hours is looking into the death of a Wisconsin woman who prosecutors say was poisoned with eye drops. Lynn Hernan was found dead in her home in 2018 by her good friend, Jesse Kershevsky, who told police she was helping to care for the 62-year-old as she struggled with a variety of health conditions. But prosecutors say Kershevsky poisoned her and did it for money. Tarika Duncan reports for this week's 48 Hours. In October 2023, 39-year-old Jesse Kershevsky went on trial in a Wisconsin courtroom, accused of killing her very good friend, 62-year-old Lynn Hernan. Jesse Kershevsky took care of Lynn during the last year of Lynn's life. Jesse was like an adopted daughter to Lynn, so Jesse and Lynn were very close. Stephanie Rodriguez covered the trial for the CBS affiliate in Milwaukee. She was going to like doctor after doctor. Friend Anthony Poza says Lynn's health problems had become increasingly frustrating for her. And then you should call me and say they can't find anything wrong with me. At the trial, a first responder testified about what she found at Lynn's home. She has multiple medication bottles that are within arm's reach, and this appears to be an unknown powdery substance left behind on a plate. I remember hearing it from Jesse on the phone. Looks like Lynn, you know, committed suicide. Toxicology reports revealed Lynn had something very unusual in her blood. The medical examiner found tetrahydrosoline in Lynn Hernan's system. It's the active ingredient in eye drops that when ingested can be fatal. Prosecutors say Jesse poisoned Lynn for her fortune. The state argued that Lynn Hernan was worth more dead than alive to Jesse Kershevsky. But at trial, the defense contended this was not a homicide at all. The defense argued that Lynn wanted to die by suicide because she was sick of being sick. Lynn loved Jesse. If Lynn Hernan was here today, she would say, are you crazy? Prosecution. Jesse's innocent. And Jerika Duncan joins us now. Uh, Jerika, thank you very much for being here. So the idea is that the fortune, the money, was the motive. How much money are we talking about here? So according to investigators, Kershevsky was able to take $144,000 before Ooh. she died, $44,000 after. So they were looking at this as someone who was taking advantage of someone who was vulnerable, someone who lived alone. And she did have some health complications, but it really wasn't until... This woman, Jessie Kershevsky, sort of re-enters her life, and she can't quite figure out why she has these other ailments and mm -hmm. why she's feeling um, sick, and doctors can't really point to it. So, of course, as you heard in the piece, they found this very unusual high amount of tetrahydrosoline, which is what is also an active ingredient in eye drops. Yeah, I never knew that eye drops could kill, kill you. Me neither. Let's just start with that. I, I knew that it could yeah. make you sick. I, I did not know that. And so it's not either, you know, I just want to make sure that we're not saying that they can in terms of using them in your eyes. The idea was that she, she was it. using this with something else that she may have been, mm -hmm. that she was drinking. So yeah. what did Jesse's defense team say on her behalf? So Jesse's defense team, in reference to that motive of money, said, listen, the reason why you saw checks written to Jesse Kershevsky from Lynn Hernan is because Jesse helped to take care of her. It wasn't uncommon for her to write her a check for her rent or her mm. car payment mm. or I, the IRS. I mean, there were different checks that looked as though they were written by Lynn Hernan to Jesse Kershevsky. Mm. Um, but again, in this piece, you'll see, even though that Kershevsky did not take the stand, her story continues to evolve about what she did, why she was where she was, and what she knew in reference to tetrahydrosoline. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Very interesting hour. Yeah, it's a very mystery. Yeah, Drika Duncan, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. You can watch Drika's uh, full report, Death by Eye Drops, on 48 Hours uh, tomorrow night, 10, 9 central, here on CBS and on Paramount+. Plus.